Available now on Blu-ray from MVD is The Go-Go Boys, The Inside Story of Canon Films from 2014. This is a documentary about Manaham Golan and Yoram Globus, the two men behind Canon Films, the B-movie powerhouse, some A-list titles too, in the 1980s, early 90s, and uh, their, their rise and fall. So there's already a documentary out called Electric Boogaloo, which is about Canon Films, and Basically, at the end of Electric Boogaloo, which is really good, it said uh, Golan and Globus declined to be interviewed for this film because they're working on their own documentary about their story. And that's what this is. The Go-Go Boys is a documentary of them telling their own story. This is them on camera throughout uh, as, as you know, elderly men now talking about uh, how they formed canon, the films they made, how they ran their business. And it is, it is fascinating and funny. It is also very much them being in control of their story. So, whereas the Electric Boogaloo documentary was interviewing fans and actors and filmmakers about how just insane it was to work for Canon, how wacky it was, and the pitfalls and the ups and downs, this is a much more, Go Go Boys is a very much more controlled, uh, controlling the story, controlling the image version, which isn't bad, because it is great to hear from these people themselves to talk about their stories and, and their perspective on all of what went down. But there is a moment that's very telling where the interviewer says, now let's talk about some of your failures. failures." And Golan gets really upset. He's like, no, why would I, why would I do that? Who are you to talk about failure? I, I, what, why do you want me to talk about? Like he won't talk about the decline so much of canon. So I think between the two, between Electric Boogaloo and Go-Go Boys, you get the full picture. It's kind of like between the autobiography of somebody and the biography of somebody the truth lies. So so the Go-Go Boys, it's a lot of talking heads. It's a lot of the two, uh, Golan and Globus, talking. It's a few directors that they worked with. Uh, Michael Dudikoff is in it. Uh, the American Ninja himself is in there. And it's it's a pretty candid. You know, they'll, they'll talk about the fact that they overextended themselves. But it is more, I don't want to say it's self-aggrandizing. It's them remembering the good times. Let's put it that way. And uh, it's a lot of fun. A lot of vintage news footage and press footage and internal footage of the operations at Canon and uh, selling. And, you know, the, the, the wonderful thing where they said people would go to Cannes, the film festival, and the film market that's there with completed films to sell to distributors around the world. Eventually, Canon went there with film packages that didn't exist. They would say, we've got Charles Bronson, he's gonna be in this movie, buy it now. And they would literally be, buy, these distributors would be paying Canon millions of dollars for the rights to release these movies because Canon was such a proven hit maker at that point in the 80s. They would be paying them for the rights to distribute movies in their individual countries that movies hadn't even been made yet. Canon would make all that they needed to budget for those films by selling them before they existed so that they were making money whether the films were successful or not. It's pretty brilliant, really. Pretty pretty wacky and ballsy and brilliant. So this documentary is a lot of fun. It's not as it's not as not as silly and off the cuff and wild as Electric Boogaloo is, but if you want the story of Canon films from the guys who made it, the guys who are and were Canon films or were Canon films, this is this is the one to watch. And it's it's so funny. Some hustlers never stop hustling because even right at the end of the movie, Golan is saying to Globus, I got a script, guaranteed Oscar winner. I'm ready to go. This movie's ready to go. And this guy's like, you know, in his 80s or something like that. Hasn't, I don't believe, has made a movie in a while, but, you know, he's, he's still got, he's still full of the vitality, vigor, and vim. So it's, again, it's a good companion piece to Electric Boogaloo. This is out now on MB, MVD. I got it uh, pretty inexpensively during one of their recent sales, and it was a lot of fun. So on Blu-ray now from MVD is The Go-Go Boys, The Inside Story of Canon Films.